Algeria, November 1942, and a combined US and British invasion force has landed near the port of Algiers in North Africa in an exercise called Operation Torch. In an airfield near Algiers, a small group of German, French and Italian aircraft get airborne. On the approach to Algiers, an Allied patrol prepares to pick up a number of US Special Forces reinforcements being dropped by an RAF C-47 Dakota. The goal of Operation Torch is to capture the Vichy French held areas of North Africa and open a second front in the war to help relieve pressure on the Soviet forces in the Russian front. Unfortunately for this Allied patrol, a crack German unit in the area has laid a carefully prepared ambush in the hope of slowing the Allied advance. Meanwhile, a few miles away, at a newly captured airfield, several Allied fighter aircraft take to the skies for an offensive patrol. As the C-47 prepares to leave the drop zone, a German fighter pounces and attacks the slower and larger British aircraft. But luckily for the British crew, the American fighters arrive in time to chase the German attacker away. Having picked up the US troops, the convoy continues on its way, unaware the trouble lies just ahead. Having disabled the lead truck, the Germans fire again, this time hitting the rear vehicle in the convoy, pinning the Allies down and cutting off their escape route. The German troops and armour move in just as the Axis aircraft arrive to attack the exposed convoy. Facing attack from both the ground and the air, the Allies now prepare themselves for a tough fight. <laughs> 